This is one of the easiest pasta dish you can make. Okay, spaghetti are in. They are only a couple of seconds away from being taken out. Remember that we don't have to put any oil in the water. You need to salt the water and have plenty and the spaghetti must be al dente. Okay, now they're coming out. I don't want you to lose all the water, some of the water needs to drip in here as well because it will help with the mixing and the dip itself. Okay, spaghetti are in, fantastic. And now we're gonna get this beautiful crisp spinach, pine nut, chili, a little touch of cashew and pecorino as well. And we're just gonna spoon it straight in. This will melt with the heat of the spaghetti and it will uh, lose a little bit of that thickness with the water that we have underneath. So let's mix it, mix it through. We can get a little bit of that uh, coating into the spaghetti itself. A little bit of salt and pepper in it. Not much, remember the flavor of the dip is already in there and it's fantastic. And a little bit of salt. Perfect, and then some spinach. Now on top of the pine nuts in the dip, we also have a little touch of cashew nuts. Not much, but just a little percentage to intensify a little bit the flavor. This is just a fantastic pasta dish. It's what I call a cold sauce, like a pesto is. Fantastic, now the spinach are all uh, wilting up a little bit now. You can chop them up if you want to make them a little bit smaller and blend in a little bit more with the spaghetti. Okay, last touch is going to be a little bit of shaved parmesan. Now we already have the pecorino in the dip, so to put a little variation in there, instead of putting shaved or grated pecorino on top, we're just gonna use the parmesan. Now parmesan, uh, it, it's very, very important type of cheese in uh, in the family of cheeses because, uh, believe it or not, it's the only cheese that is actually allowed to be uh, going into space when they do missions. Um, it's the only unpasteurized cheese that actually contain enough proteins in 50 grams to compensate the size of a steak of 250 grams. So very, very, very good cheese to have, very good addition to any pasta dish. Now this is obviously not one portion, the recommended portion for, for pasta is always 80 to 100 grams. This is just to land in the middle of the table and let people go crazy. Fantastic. Very delicious, very, the smell is divine.